who knows the woman. Oh, cool. <laughs> And you can still find Sri Chinmoy's image all over a small enclave in Jamaica Hills. I think I was looking for a real spiritual master. Chinmoy was born in what's now Bangladesh and brought his music and meditation to Queens and the United Nations in the late 60s, at much the same time the Beatles were testing Eastern philosophy and the sitar. Chinmoy's reach was also international, and followers included rock star Carlos Santana. His UN connections got him meetings with Gorbachev, Pope John Paul II, and even Mother Teresa. But for Anne Carlton, who was 19 when she left her home in Greenwich, Connecticut, her 20-year membership in the Chinmoy Center proved to be emotionally damaging. Honestly, I think he preps people for a long time. I think he tries to make sure that the person is completely brainwashed. Chinmoy died in 2007, but Carlton still speaks of him in the present tense. She told us she had followed his program of marathon running and weight watching. And you had to go and be weighed every week. She was 29 when the guru invited her to a West Coast concert that she paid for. Then she recalls he summoned her to his room. I had been a celibate for 10 years. We weren't even allowed to look men in the eye. We weren't allowed to marry. We're not allowed to have children. You know, he was saying, are you surrendered? Will you surrender to me? And I was like, okay, I'm surrendered. Yes, uh, I'm surrendered, you know. I didn't get it. And then he said, take off your clothes. We started looking at Chinmoy's group when a viewer contacted us and told us the mystery drifter that we'd been seeking in southwestern Virginia, thinking she was a missing Queens woman, was actually a former Chinmoy disciple. That's Diane. She was in the publishing industry. I believe she was an editor. Several members, past and present, recognized the woman whose real name is Diane Cardone. Anne Carlton told us when Diane Cardone tried to set up a Sri Chinmoy Center in Woodstock, New York. They, I, I guess, felt that she didn't have quite the right persona. And so they gave it to someone else and they sort of pushed her to the side. Carlton said that's when Diane Cardone started to break away from everyone. In her mind, she sees herself as a mendicant for peace, like a person who walks the earth uh, praying for peace. Carlton, meantime, didn't leave the group until 2001, years after she claims the guru wanted her to get intimate with women. It was voyeuristic, so he would have us perform sexually in front of him. In my heart, meditated, and I said, I have to leave the center. And during that conversation, he threatened my life. I had a scarf, he had it, he went like this, he tied it, and he started tightening it in, threatening to strangle me. Carlton did leave and got married to a former disciple in 2011. We did receive a lengthy statement from the Sri Chinmoy Center tonight calling Carlton's allegations absolutely false. The spokesperson said the founder led a life of utmost purity and pointed out the group does humanitarian work in Africa and Asia. You will hear from some current members tomorrow. Wow. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Thanks, Mary. Wow. All right, let's go back to Mr. G now and take a